never let your circumstances diminish who you are. I'm going to say it again, never let your circumstances diminish who you are. Don't let people diminish who you are. Don't let their reactions diminish who you are. When you know who you are, you can be in milk rags and still be mighty. You can have little shoulders and stand up to a lot of weight. This is what I want you to remember. You can be living in a barn and still be the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Don't let your circumstances diminish who you are. You with me? Number two, true, true greatness doesn't have to be exalted. True greatness doesn't have to be exalted. It don't have to make a name for itself. It don't have to pass out business cards. It don't have to impress people. It don't have to ride around in a Rolls Royce. It doesn't need a fleet of people walking in behind it to be when you're truly great. I never worried about where folks set me in the church because I know who I am. Whether I'm in the front seat or the back seat, I still know who I am. Whether you drive or I drive, I still know who I am. Whether I'm riding on a truck or coming on a donkey, I know who I am. Hallelujah. Last thing I told my baby boy when I sent him to college, don't forget who you are. People will talk about what you do, but don't forget who you are. True greatness doesn't have to be exalted. It doesn't have to make a name for itself. It doesn't have to prove itself. It doesn't have to impress people. It doesn't have to showboat. It doesn't have to show off. It just is what it is. So if I came around my house and they said, oh my God, what did you got on? I had on this little raggedy something. It looked, didn't match, didn't go together. Blue socks, green shoes, purple pants, orange t-shirt. Sometimes I break it down just as low as I can get it so I can just chill out. But even in looking like a spaceman from outer space, toss me a mic. I think I look pretty good this morning, but my anointing is not in my jacket. My anointing is in Okomo Shata. Himayata! I can give you my jacket, but I can't give you my anointing. The anointing that I have is God all by himself. They tried to make Jesus king and he ran away. Because you can't make me what I already am. True greatness doesn't have to be exhausted. Number three, get this. This is so good. What God has for you, no, 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 will come to you. What God has for you, you don't see the baby seeking the wise men. You see the wise men seeking Jesus. The baby didn't travel, the blessing did. Slap somebody and tell them your blessing is on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been traveling and traveling and traveling trying to find you. Traveling trying to get you. If you study it out, Herod thought he should get the blessing. But when God has something for you, can't nobody who wants to get it. No imposter, no hater, no procrastinator, no antagonizer. What God has for you, I don't care if you're in the shelter, it will come to you. That's how you recognize it. God knows your address. God knows your name. God knows how to get it to you. Number four, darkness 
cannot comprehend light. The light of the world was born at night, and the darkness comprehended it not. Jesus knew that he was the light of the world, and he didn't need natural light to have divine light. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You can be surrounded by witches. I wish I, wish I had an old time at church. I got a new time at church. I wish I had an old time at church that I had to go to work with witches. I wish I had some people that are working in some hellish situations, but you go in the office and you know who you are. Got a little bottle of oil in your pocketbook, plead the blood, claim your space, speak in tongues, you know who you are. I wish I had some old saints that when all hell broke loose, you dropped down on your knees and start pleading the blood and said, wait a minute, God gave me this house. The devil is a lie. You can't take my stuff. Darkness cannot comprehend light. And my all-time favorite, my all-time favorite, every catastrophe is an opportunity if you handle it right. Every catastrophe is an opportunity if you handle it right. Every catastrophe is an opportunity if you handle it right. You don't have to pray about the opportunity. The opportunity is in the catastrophe. The thing you have to pray about is how do I handle it? Show me how to handle it. Instead of falling out and fainting, I don't deserve this, I don't understand this, it don't make no sense, it's not fair. If God allowed it to come, it's an opportunity. You know why? Romans 8, 28, all things. Can I go a little bit deeper? I'm almost done. Jesus was born into a catastrophe. He was born on the hit list of Herod. He was born, he didn't do nothing. How could he have done something? He just got here. He was born on the hit list. Herod sought to kill him. Write this, Herod sought to kill him, but God protected him. Either you're going to believe God or you're not. I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm not asking you to believe in our church. I'm not asking you to believe in nothing but God. If you believe in God, God will protect you. Not against people's opinions. People are going to think whatever they're going to think. Let them think. You can't spend your life trying to change people's mind. You got to know. Herod was after Jesus because Jesus was a threat. Jesus was a threat. They started bringing the gold that Herod would have got to Jesus. So Herod tried to kill him to protect his kingdom. It was a plot. And Jesus was born in it. Some of you were born in a mess. You didn't grow up on the right side of the tracks. Your family, when you look up dysfunctional, your family smiling out. Some of y'all landed a job without a degree.
and you got a promotion and you going up while other people are going down and they hating on you and it ain't, it ain't no need in trying to change their mind about it. If God decides to bring the camels over, he just brought the camels over. Somebody, somebody bear witness in here. Some of you got a degree, but it's not in the, even in the area that you're working in. But God put you in a whole different area and raised you up and blessed you. If, if I'm talking about you, holler at your boy right now. <laughs>